We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. Hello everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today we are making some squash casserole. Yes, squash casserole. And here are our ingredients. As you can see, I have some squash and some milk. I have a sleeve of crackers. These are Ritz crackers, any type of buttery crackers. I have some melted butter, and I also have some cheddar cheese, and one medium onion, and two eggs, and salt and pepper to taste. Okay, y'all, let's get to making our squash casserole. Okay, here I'm showing y'all how to, how I prepare my squash. Y'all see you cut the tips off on each end. I have cut and rinsed up my squash and now we're going to prepare it in this pot I am adding my sliced squash and my onions as y'all see I have ringed up my onions here I'm adding some water just enough of water for these to steam Okay, here I'm going to season my squash just a little. I'm going to add some onion powder. Black pepper. And salt. It's up to you how much you want to add. Okay, here I have uh, I have turned on my heat and I got it on high. I'm only going to keep it there until it begin to start boiling under there. But right now I'm going to mix this, kind of mix this together. Because as y'all know, squash makes its own water. You don't need a whole lot of water down there because it makes its own water. I'm going to add my lid to it. As soon as it starts boiling, I'm going to be right back. Okay, as y'all can see, my squash has begun to boil. And I'm going to turn it down to maybe like a medium heat and just let this continue to cook. Okay, here I'm preparing my crackers. All you do with this is I'm gonna crush these up. down like I said I have turned my heat down and I'm gonna let these this squash cook for about 10 minutes it all depends on you how you like your squash um, I prefer mine uh, not just overly cooked I prefer mine like medium I don't want it uh, I want it where it can still have a shape okay here as y'all can see I have Crush my crackers, and it all depends on how many uh, uh, crackers you want to use. You know, it all depends. I'm gonna add this to my bowl. This is a sleeve of crackers. And 
And I'm also adding my cheese. And we're going to mix this like so. Just mix this well. Okay, as you you can see, here I'm showing y'all how. See, these are I've got tender. You see, I've got tender. They have drained these, okay. and I'm gonna be right back. Here I'm adding my squash. Now I'm adding half of my crackers and cheddar cheese to my squash. Now I'm going to mix this together. You can like fold it in there if you want your squash to be still sort of firm, okay? Here I'm just mixing it together. Now I'm going to taste it, y'all, to see if it needs any salt. This is the time to taste it. I'm going to add just a little more salt, and then I'm going to add my black pepper as well. But it's up to you. If you can't have all that salt, do not add it. Okay, I have this milk. What I'm going to do is set this aside. I have two eggs. I'm going to add those two eggs to that. Oh, I just made a mess. I'm going to whisk this together. And then I'm going to add it to my squash mixture. We're going to continue. Here I'm adding half of my butter. Let's mix that around in there. Here I'm adding some of the cheddar cheese and crackers down at the bottom of here. Now I'm adding my squash mixture on top of it. We're going to spread this around. Y'all, this is not a 9 by 13 uh, casserole dish. This is a smaller one. I don't know exactly how small it is, but it's smaller than that one. I uh, bought this set at Ross. They had, it was like a three-piece set. It had the extra large one, then it had had a smaller one than that one, then it had a, another small one, and this, one's, this one was smaller. It's the smallest of the set. Okay, now I'm adding some more of the cheese and cracker mixture. All this left, I'm going to add all of that on top. Okay, I'm going to add all of that. I love a good, nice, buttery crust. And now I'm going to add the remainder of my butter on top. I 
I'm going to place this casserole in a 400 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes depending on um, how my uh, top browns. I'm going to let this bake and I'm going to be right back. Okay y'all, here is my squash casserole. I just removed it from the oven and it was in there for 25 minutes and I'm getting ready to plate this up. Okay, we're going to down here. Show you exactly how it turned out. inside there I'll put a little bit more in here for my thumbnail okay y'all there you have it show y'all inside there that's how it looks you can spray your pan if you want to but I decided not to since I had that crust down there I didn't do it this is a simple recipe for us squash lovers <laughs> okay all right y'all there are so many ways you can make this i'm just making it a simple way with simple ingredients some people use sour cream instead of the milk and you can do that if you prefer but i didn't okay y'all i'm gonna say y'all have a blessed day and bye bye for now We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. That's a hit.